Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Rezac, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is July 9th, 2024, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the market's really wavering right before Fed Chairman Powell will be speaking today. And that's moving on to our major economic events of the day. Now that's going to happen at 4 o'clock South African time. Now shifting over to the market, starting out with the Forex symbols, the British pound rallies to its resistance level. Now it's interesting. As this news is coming out, we're at our resistance level. Now moving over to the indices, the Dow Jones remains unchanged while the NASDAQ inches even higher to record highs. Now looking at commodities, gold retraces from that resistance level. We spoke about that yesterday and oil tapers even lower. Now looking at the stocks, Intel gets a gap and go. That's gonna be something that's over developing and interesting to see if that's gonna continue. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, first with the British pound. Now this is what's interesting. The US dollar has certain strength, right? So it's the GBP this time, or it's the Euro, or it's something else, okay? So they're all variations of how strong they are vis-a-vis -vis the same US dollar, which is the common denominator versus either the GBP, the Japanese yen, or the Euro, okay? Now this is what's interesting. The British pound is generally thought to be the stronger one vis-a-vis -vis the dollar. Now it did push over to its resistance level and interestingly enough, just happens to be when Fed Chairman Powell will be speaking today. That's not a coincidence. This is what you call financial trading. This is what you call market makers and financial institutions moving the currency to where it is, knowing that there's going to be this number coming out later today. With that said, we're at resistance levels, so know your levels, okay? Especially if we trade and we fade this move. 128.56 is your level, so we may see it sell off, and that's something to consider as we see that later today. Now, moving over to the Euro USD, it didn't trade to its resistance level of 108.96, which means to imply that the Euro is less volatile, number one, and less strong than the GBP versus the USD. Okay, I would have expected to be at this red line where I have this cursor if it was trading in parity with the GBP. I hope that message is clear. Now, with this number coming out, lots of things can happen, okay? Now, vis-a-vis -vis the Australian dollar, look at that. The Australian dollar is actually stronger than the USD, okay? So you gotta see the variations of strength versus the USD. Now, lastly, looking at the Japanese yen, it's on its lows, really on its lows, but just off of its record lows, okay? So keep that in mind as this will unfold also today and may push us even higher. Now jumping into commodities, gold retraces at that upper limit. This is what we spoke about, 2389. It's still trading in a range and that level was that range. And sure enough, we got a decent move, about 20 bucks on the downside, okay? On one lot, that's a lot of money and pretty good. Now, looking at the U.S. markets, NASDAQ at all time, record high, 20,722 and just breaking new barriers. Whereas the Dow Jones, unchanged, okay? The tech stocks are really the ones that are leading us forward. And that really represents something like Microsoft, Apple, let's take a look at it. Apple pushed even higher from 224 to 227 yesterday. If we look at Microsoft also, on its high, it's 466 just by a dollar. Okay, if you look at Facebook, it retraced from its all-time record highs. So again, there's variations in the market as well. Now I wanna highlight this Intel, because Intel is a bellwether, okay? It doesn't trade much, it's not big moves, but a couple of things about it. It's a very important leading indicator. And sure enough, this more, yesterday we got this two gapped up and goes. Now two of them is that much more solidified that it's going to change its character, moving even higher as it's getting higher volume as well those are the two components remember okay now lastly let's take a look at crypt, uh, cryptocurrencies at bitcoin where it's just unched okay it retraced to our lows didn't change much from there and just finding a new bottom at least for now this is the fed raise act I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you